Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on the Universio world. I've done a couple things since the last episode. Um, I want to show you that right now. Uh, the first thing I did was I planted that cactus, so we're definitely growing that with a botany pot. That was pretty easy. You've seen that kind of thing over there. Um, I put the two interfaces that we had on each side here, so now I can put items in here to load into uh, the pressure chamber, and this is the outlet chest for that, and move the power, or the, rather the pressurization back here, and added this uh, lever, so that's good. Um, the next thing I was working on was over here. I'm trying to figure out uh, because of the plastic problem. So as you recall, I was trying to make the plastic from in, you know, by using the buckets and just dropping it in world. And uh, it looked like it worked, but then all of a sudden it didn't. And I don't know what happened. I couldn't do anything or interact with the world. So uh, yeah, I went back out, restarted, and guess what? It didn't even give me the credit for that stuff. So uh, I didn't have any of the plastic in my inventory. So using it in world didn't work for me. So I started just to real quick, I messed with this right here. Looking at the quest, it says, get um, this heat chamber or this heat uh, frame. And this is something you're supposed to put around an inventory. And I did that here and I tried putting like ice under it and things and it just can't seem to get it to work. I have a tank here with the uh, plastic that we've gotten. And I believe what I can do is I can use this tank and just fill it up and it's supposed to be able to drop it in. So I just start piping this here to this tank like this. It should work, right? We have one more bucket worth. That should be empty there. Yeah. So I need to figure out how to get this cooled. Uh, one of the first things I think that I've been from reading is that you can use a vortex cube or vortex something or other and a heat sink. So it's a vortex tube here. And so we're going to start in with this right away. Um, it looks like it's pretty easy stuff. Compressed ingots, uh, iron ingots, and a pressure tube. We have that. And we need aluminum. Now, aluminum we can get from smelting aluminum dust. And to get aluminum dust, we need to get 16 aluminum. And I don't think I have aluminum in here. Let's just check. Uh, I do have aluminum. So 16 aluminum will get you what we need. So we're going to get 16. We're going to throw it in the pressurization chamber, and we're going to get that. All right, here we go. Let's go do that really quick. Run it over here. And like I said, I just put it into the hopper on the side. And the hopper, it should just start to count down. Why is it not? Okay, did I do something wrong here? Let's see. It says to melt that, to get that. Oh, it's a compactor. Never mind. I can't do a compactor. Okay. So how do we make a vortex cube? How do we make aluminum? Is there any other way to make aluminum? It's just aluminum dust, and I can't even do that. Okay, so I'm not sure how we're going to use the heat frame uh, without cooling this down. I've tried putting different things under it. Um, the only way I have right now that I can know of is by just taking this like this and and it my game just crashed. So I got to figure out a way to get plastic sheets. Um, so let me go restart and see what happens. All right, I am back. I took the tank and I put it back in here. I'm going to try something else here. Um, I was trying to look at what things generate coldness. And when I look at the everythingness, it does do for block heat properties of a temperature of a minus 103 Celsius. So will this work? I don't know. Let's see if this works. And see, I don't see it doing anything right now, but I wonder if it, it does. can't be below it. Maybe it's got to be on a side. Um, so let's see if I do that on a side. See, I don't know if it does something like that. Or maybe, see, this is where I'm trying to figure out uh, how this works. What if, um, let me grab this right here. What if we have, like, maybe water in the center? This is empty bucket, yes. What if we put water there and we put this here? Will this freeze the water? That's what I'm trying to figure out. If I can figure out how this works, uh, that would be good. Um, and see, it still says temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. It's like it's not seeing or cooling um, correctly. I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, once I get it figured out, I'll be back. Okay, I think I have it. So I'm using everythingness blocks. When I looked at that, if you recall, I'll show you right here. It says uh, temperature-wise, it takes a it goes down to a minus 103 degrees Celsius. So what I did was thinking that this is uh, has to do with pneumaticraft. I put various things like uh, water and stuff to make ice. That didn't work. But then when I put a block of compressed iron, you can see the temperature is going down. So I'm gonna put in here the small fluid tank. And I'm hoping that because the temperature is going down, it will eventually make 
this into plastic because um, that's what it says to do. If I look at the way plastic is here for the plastic sheets using the heat frame, it just says put a tank in there. And it says when it gets to below zero degrees. So we're at six right now. It's going down. Um, so this should be good. So I, like I said, I'm using the four everything that's blocks on each side to try to go as fast as I can with this. I actually have one below that iron block too. So hopefully when we get to zero, um, it'll start to convert. Now, I don't know if it'll convert fast, if it just converts one and that's it, if it like loses temperature or not. I don't know. So it said below zero, nothing yet. Let's keep watching and see if it goes to negative degrees. Uh, you can see it says cooling. So the cooling is happening now. So uh, that would mean that we're going to get some plastic, I would imagine, uh, in just a second. So uh, what do we need for our quest here? We need to get just a piece of plastic, and then I'm hopeful that it'll open up some more stuff here, okay? So uh, we're going to just uh, wait on this and hopefully have some plastic. Okay, so now you can see that it is going cooling another piece, but it did make a plastic sheet. And there we go. We got the plastic. Fantastic. Awesome. All right, let's get that quest here. Oh, and look, it opened up new stuff. So we got a PCB blueprint. Okay, um, let's see. We have to get a transmutation table. That's easy. Let's do that. Okay. There we go. Put that back. Uh, excellent. Okay, can we... Does this have an EMC? No, it doesn't, so uh, we won't use that. But uh, we got that quest. So it looks like now we're going to be working on making PCBs. And I think that's good because up here we were trying to do the advanced uh, generator. And when we try to make the advanced pressure tube, it required these machines. And these machines take PCBs. So I think we're heading in the right direction with this now. All right. So let's do not really a circuit. we got to make this. It's a empty PCB. Now, I've never done this really. So let's just figure this out. Uh, blast furnace has failed when we can do something. We don't do that. So we need to get plastic. Uh, to make three of those, you need plastic, and you need gold nuggets, and you need redstone torches. Okay, so let's go get some redstone torches. Let's see if there's some redstone here. I don't have a lot of redstone, but that's fine. Um, we have four torches, and uh, we're going to make PCBs, right? PCB. We're making the like, an empty PCB. No. Yes, it's two torches, so we got to have four. We have four torches now, so we need six gold nuggets and two plastic sheets. So do I have gold? I do. I have some nuggets there, I think. Yeah, I have some nuggets. And a plastic sheet. Do we have another one? Yes, we've got a bunch of that. Okay, so we'll run over here. So we have four torches. Four nuggets? No. I gotta look at that again. Uh it's two, three, and one. So it'll be four, six, and two, right? So uh or two, three, and one. <laughs> that's all we can do right now. So this is slowly loading. Uh, you can see how it goes down in there. And then we need to have pressure. We're at 1.58. Let's turn this on. It should start to go up. Uh, I'm not sure what the pressure requirement is for it. Uh, looks like it has to be at about two. So there's all the pieces. And there it came out. It should be coming out here in just a second. And there we have. We have three PCBs. Excellent. All right, the next step we're going to work on here is the artificial sun rays. Craft a UV light box. Uh, the UV light box just takes the PCB blueprint, which we have, and the pressure tubes, which we have. And so I think it just takes redstone lamps, and that is redstone. So we're going to have to get more redstone, but you also need glowstone. But glowstone is kind of easy with this temperature thing. So all you need to do here is just take blaze mesh and throw it in our cooling system. So I'm going to get uh, some of that right now. Let's see. Let's, get, uh, let's try to get maybe four. Let's actually do eight. Here we go. And we'll throw it over in here. And uh, I'm assuming that this will start cooling it uh, in a second. Um, maybe. <laughs> We're going to see. Uh, let's uh, wait for a minute and see if it does cool this down. All right. So this did not work. It did not get down to the temperature that we needed to convert the blaze mesh. Okay. So um, I'm trying to think of other ways to do it. Now, that I have seen where these devices... Uh, we'll take um, the glowstone from Blaze Mesh and it eventually cools it. So I could do that. Or or we can try to go and do a conversion. Because if you look here for the um, glowstone, let me show you what I have found. So if we go for glowstone dust, you can get that through a transformation of 
the uh, Cosmic Dust with Netherrack, and I think I know where to get Netherrack. So, you know, I could do the Blaze Mash. Let's just pull a couple of these out and just show you what I mean here. If I put these right here, and of course make this all out again. Um, wow, that did both of those. Oh, I know why, because I've got this set for a large area. Hold on, pressing the V key, the shift key to go backwards. Yes. Okay. I had to do a larger area so that I could get all of this sand. Um, but those should uh, convert down uh, into and be cooled down eventually through the overworld here. But let's go and get some uh, uh, netherrack. Let me show you. We are down in where our oil is. And if you recall down here, there's a bunch of this uh, uh, magma blocks. And I believe below there is where we get to uh, another dimension. Now, I am having trouble swimming. So what I got this sand for is I'm going to make a 3x3 three three block and then dig myself down in a center area. So this is just, just sand. I'm just going to start piling sand down and just making a nice little hole for us. And uh, eventually here, we'll dig down and we should get to another dimension, I think. And then we can use the temp pad to make uh, a portal there so that we don't have to worry about coming back. So this should be pretty easy. Let me get this square done. Okay, and that's done. Now we're gonna dig down through the middle here so that way we won't drown. And eventually we will definitely get to the magma blocks, which I will uh, have to be shifting on there so I don't take damage. And I'm gonna start mining straight down here and there we go. And now we're in, in Ferris Underworld. So the Underworld, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh that's not good. Those are things. Um, oh, it's crazy down here. But I wanted to make a portal, so let's, let's make one right here. Let's see, I should probably make a little bit of a, of a structure here with some sand. Uh. Okay, now we're safe in here, right? And let's use the temp pad and then we're going to run a program and new location, Underworld. Um, just under, that's all I know. So let's do that. And we should have that now. And I think we can get to some uh, nether rack down here. This is crimson uh, stuff, but if we look around, we can probably find uh, some nether rack. Maybe it's even below it, I don't know. I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find some, like right below. So there we go, got some netherrack. And with this, we should be able to do some conversion, right? Let's grab a couple more blocks. And we're gonna temp bad back to earth. Here we go. Uh, where did it put it? Uh-oh. <laughs> so that's the one something that can happen here is you can actually like not have the right portal uh, close. So let me try this again. Run program, earth base. Run program, earth base, double port. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. Okay. Hopefully now it'll show it. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, temp pad, run program, earth base, teleport. Um, I'm not sure where it's putting the portal. There it is, one more block. <laughs> That's quite an adventure. All right, so uh, we have the nether rack now. Um, so we should be able to take this, which is the uh, red, um, that's the red concrete powder. Put some nether rack here. And we should be able to take a stack of, oh, it's dark. A stack of this here and get a stack of uh, glowstone. So let's do that real quick and see. I might have to put some more uh, charcoal down for the endo flames, which I can do. But uh, this should work here, good. And throw that down there. And let's throw the rest of it. And there we go, we have a stack and some stuff of glowstone. So now all I do need to do is to uh, get the redstone, which we've used that before. Uh, I'm going to charge this up a little bit first, and then we're going to start to make the, this uh, thing that we had here. I can't remember what we're doing, what it's called. The UV light box. Yeah, that. To make redstone, all we need is poo is uh, put back the red concrete powder and put in the uh, dust. Just like that. And, of course, it picks it back, back up. That's okay. And then we've got a stack of redstone. So let's go back here and see if we can make this UV light box. I know we needed three redstone lamps. So that should be pretty easy because we just take the glowstone and redstone here. And really only need three of those, but uh, that's all we, that I'll do here. We'll go into the UV light box and we need to get the a pressure tube and some, some of the uh, compressed iron. And I have one compressed iron. So uh, we need to get more iron. And uh, the way we do that is, first of all, is go and get a stack of the Pharos uh, iron dust. 
and we cook that up here really quick. And then after we cook that up, we take that and um, put it in the pressure chamber, I guess, is the way I could do that. Uh, there's different ways to get compressed iron. I'm sure we don't have any other compressed iron, though. I don't see it. So I think I use it all for the uh, the block here uh, that, to cool things down. Just give it a time. I just took, uh, like, four of the iron and put it in here, so it should convert it automatically. And it looks like it might have done a few of them. The rest of them should be converted. It should then be picked up and thrown into uh, here. Yep, they're gone. And it should have four, which should give us the five we need uh, for this. I think it was four or five that we needed, but whatever. Uh, we should have pretty much all of this now. So if we go in here. Oh, what do you want? Do anything for me? Don't care, don't care. Don't care about drip leaf. Brown dye. Uh, none of that really interests me. Sorry. Okay, so we're making the light box, right? So let's look at that. The UV light box. And we have all the light pieces on us. So there it is. The UV light box. Okay. Let's go back to the quest. And you can see that that now has opened up. This was a UV empty circuit. Are you doing something? I don't know what you guys are doing. So uh, this does take pressure. I've uh, seen that. So I'm going to put this over here so it hooks up to this pressure line. So let's put this right here. Okay. So it takes some pressure. We're at two right now. We are generating pressure. I'm going to turn that off for a second. And I think we just put in the uh, PCBs. And you can see there it's starting to work on it. Um, so I probably should leave that on. Um, it's slow. So let's look at getting um, a hopper. We may have a hopper that we could use in here. Um, or, you know, I have wood and I have some iron now. I could just make a regular a regular hopper. Uh, let's get some wood. Yeah, that's using a lot of wood. That's good. Okay, let's just make a hopper, a chest first. And then with the iron, make a hopper. Okay, I know I'm throwing stuff around here. That's okay. We'll pick that up in just a second. I just want to get this done. So I think we can hopper this stuff in from the top. So let's do that. Hopper and put the rest of these in there. And so I believe that this should make the items. It just takes time, which we can uh, monitor this, make sure we don't go up too high on pressure, um, but it should work. And okay, let me go clean up the stuff and we're gonna wait to see if we get that uh, item. <laughs> well, it's raining. But while it does that, I'm going to get this empty PCB that should get us that quest. And that is really good. And so now I think we have two more things we have to do. We have to get this engraving circuits and getting this magical hazardous liquid. Okay, so let's try the engraving circuits here. I'm going to bookmark this. And this is, looks like obsidian glass panes, some stuff in a tank. This looks really easy. So let's just go over here and see if we can do that. I wish it wasn't raining. Huh? Um... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sleep through the night a couple more times just to see if I can get rid of this rain. Okay, let's see if we can do this. We're trying to make the etching tank here. It takes some obsidian and glass panes. I know I've got obsidian here, so there's two obsidian. And I know I also have glass panes, so that's done there. Let me put some of this away because I don't think we have it. Uh, glowstone does have EMC, though. Uh, there, that's good. Okay. Um, and then we have to get what else here? So we have that line done. We need to get another tank. Okay, so we need to get some, I have to get some more compressed iron. So let's just start that process up. I have 10 iron on me. I'll run over here, throw it in the machine, and it should work pretty easily. Um, there we go, 10. And we'll turn on this to pressurize. And this has another one of these uh, empty PCBs, and it's still working. That's good. And we're at about round, uh, we're a little low now, but it's going to go up to two in just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to get more of that. And then we need to get some more of these reinforced... Uh -huh. Uh, pieces here. So I know that we have uh, I have some of those on me. Yes, I have reinforced slabs already, which we have. We need to get reinforced brick walls, which is six of the reinforced bricks, and we have four of those. So I think we just do one of, of these here to make reinforced stone, reinforced bricks. There we go. And then we do that to make the reinforced brick wall. So we have almost everything except for uh -huh. I thought we had reinforced brick slabs. Can you just do that? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Reinforced bricks. Uh -huh. Stone slab. There's brick slabs. There we go. Okay. So now we have everything but the tank. A small fluid tank. I think I've got one in here that I've been using for my fluid tanks for plastic, but we can use that right now and do that. And then we have our etching tank. 
Okay, excellent. And so the etching tank, I'm going to put this over here because we kind of have to do things with the PCB for now. I know it's a little bit far away, but that's okay. But I'll take a nice screenshot of this here in a second. Let's uh, put it right down here. And it looks like it takes temperature and it takes, this is the etching fluid, which is something I think we need. Problems right now, fill the tank with some etching acid. So that's the next step. And that's probably the last one we're going to do today. Hopefully this won't take long. But we're going to make the etching acid. And it looks like it takes, well, you can do this with some various resources or you can do this with all of this, okay? So let's grab uh, a whole bunch of that. Huh? Okay, so we're going to go over here. I saw nitrogen. Huh? Right, we're going to have to get some space before I do, before I do this here, guys. So uh, let's get rid of some stuff. Huh? Okay. Uh, we needed nitrogen, I saw, huh? which is the N. Huh? And we're making uh, the etching fluid. I guess I needed to bookmark that. Uh -huh. So we nitrogen, three chlorine. So one, two. Uh -huh. One, two, three. There's that one. What else do we need for this? We needed three oxygen and a hydrogen. So we have oxygen, three of those. Hydrogen. And what else do we need here? We need an iron and a bucket of water. Which is ferros, which is iron. Uh, and a bucket of water. Okay, so let's get all that. And put that into uh, the pressurization chamber. So we should have a decent amount of pressure in here. We're at 1.78. So uh, it hasn't still converted that yet. Um, yeah, so we're waiting just for a little bit uh, for that to get up to 2.0. I think it's probably just because it was used, being split between the two different uh, sources here. It's probably what's going on. So I just got to wait for this. And then once we get the iron out, then I will put this in and we'll make the etching fluid. Okay, so it's reached 2.0. I just heard one of the irons pop out. There we go. That should be done. It should be gone. Okay, it's empty. So now we're going to go in here. We want to need a bucket. We need these items here. And these should be slowly inserted into this. And when it gets all in there, we should be converted and we'll get into a um, etching fluid. We'll just have to wait. Okay, here goes the oxygen in here. Should be all in there and should start to uh, convert. What is the uh, pressure that it needs to do that with? It is, again... Looks like 1.7, is that what it says, or is it 2? Well, we're at 1.66, so if it's 1.7, it'll happen in just a second. If it's 2.0, it'll happen a little after that. There it went. It was 1.7. So now we're waiting for here. We have our 10 compressed iron, which we need, and there is the etching acid bucket. Awesome. We got that quest. And so now you have uh, some various things here we're trying to get to. It says we are not done yet. we got to get the unassembled PCB, and you basically take one of our empty PCBs, etching fluid and it'll make those either the good ones or the bad ones so let's see what happens here uh we take our etching fluid i believe and just like that okay that's in there um and then we put in is it that or is it that i don't know ah etching progress okay so there we are we have two of them and we're just going to wait and see what this produces one thing i notice here is it does work on multiples at the same time so you can do this uh, with lots of this, you can fill up the space and it would work all at the same time. So probably if this thing gets done here soon, um, I can work with that. Okay, we're at 99%, 100% etching process. And it looks like we did get an unassembled PCB out of this, not uh, the bad version of it. And here's the other one that's completed. And the other one that I just added in is still working. But we got two of these, that's good. And that is awesome. So now we can use it. And this one is basically making some other parts, which we are will probably do in the next episode. Because, you know what? I, I wanted to get to the PCBs. So this has kind of been fun today. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun making PCBs. I can't wait to put stuff on the PCBs. And we're getting closer to finishing up this chapter. So um, I think next time, guys, what I'm going to do in between episodes, I'm going to try to get some more PCBs. Because I know we're going to probably need more than the three that I have. And then I think after that... Uh, We'll see you about finishing up this section. That'll be awesome. All right, guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all those notifications, okay? Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.